Join me tonight to reset my kitchen and to get ready for Monday morning. First, I'm just cleaning up the dishes and doing some things that I've procrastinated on all weekend, um, like things I have to hand wash and just miscellaneous stuff sitting around my kitchen. I don't know about you all, but even if there's not that much of a mess, sometimes you can just feel paralyzed when things are cluttered. So I'm trying to get up the energy mentally and physically to get everything cleaned up so we can start our week fresh. about you all but one of the most discouraging things to me is getting up on Monday morning and there being so much dishes on the counter that I can't reach the coffee pot. Nothing starts out the, a Monday worse than not being able to get your coffee. So tonight I'm doing myself a favor and I'm cleaning up the coffee pot and getting it all ready to go so that way I have my nice cup, hot cup of coffee on Monday morning before we start school. I learned the hard way a couple years ago that there is a blade in the bottom of that little K-cup dispenser. Never throw that in with the rest of your dishes. I've recently got hooked on this Colombian coffee blend from Walmart. I'm not that big of a black coffee drinker, but that's one that I really like. Now I'm just cleaning off the counter so I can do some breakfast prep for the week. Am I the only one who, whenever you're cleaning something, you start seeing all the other things that need cleaned? It's hard for me to focus on one thing. I just get overwhelmed with everything that needs cleans. But I did my best to stick to this one area. Now that I have everything all cleaned up in this area, I'm starting to make some overnight oats. I guess this is the new recent fad that I'm late to, but we started eating these last week and I really, really like them. All I do is about a half a cup of oats to about a half or three fourths a cup of almond milk. And then you can add a lot of different things to it, but this week I'm adding some chia seeds, honey, a little bit of cinnamon, and then I just stir that all up, put it in the fridge overnight, and enjoy it in the morning. We've been adding strawberries and bananas to the top, but this week I think we're going to do apples and some crushed up pecans, so we'll see how that goes. So other than the chia seeds, most of the stuff was things that I had on hand and it's a quick and easy breakfast that I can have in the fridge ready for us to go in the morning. I don't know about you all, but I'm really bad about forgetting to eat breakfast, so this is great to have. 
set up and ready to go. Another thing that I can do to really help myself out for a great start to my week is to clean off my table. Just looking at this, it's very overwhelming for me, but in just a minute or two, I can have the whole thing cleaned up, put away, and have it all reset for us to do our homeschooling in the morning on Monday. And in just under an hour, I can have my whole kitchen looking nice and clean and let me, it gives me time to enjoy the rest of my evening. Tonight, we got to have a little campfire. My dad came over and spent some time with the kids and better yet, we used paper plates, so no dishes for mom. I hope this is encouraging for you all to start your Monday out calm and rested and have a great rest of your week. Bye for now.